Okay, welcome to another episode of Super Adventure Game Time. We're playing Full Throttle. And we left off over here. Just need to take a little break. So, uh, we'll get back on the old mine road again. Because I know that we need to get those goggles. And we need to get that booster from one of those vultures. But while we're here, we might as well check some stuff out. One of the gorgeous many casualties. Well, that doesn't. That sounds kind of ominous. Doesn't really sound good for us. Ricky Myron's infamous gorge jump. Professor Schmetterling's experimental flying suit. Hmm. This is the last picture ever taken of Professor Schmetterling. <laughs> Notice, jumping the Poyahoga Gorge, although tempting, is highly illegal and dangerous. We recommend the recently constructed Poyahoga Gorge Bridge for transgorge travel. Drive safely. <laughs> that makes sense. Tightrope walkers, hang gliders, human cannonballs. Many have tried to cross the mighty Poyahoga Gorge, and many have failed. Except for Ricky Myron, the Flying Torch who jumped the gorge on a stock Corley motorcycle. It was later uncovered that he had modified his Corley with a pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster uh -huh. and an automotive hover lift. Myron said he would gladly replicate the jump to clear his name, but his special ramp was stolen by a mysterious truck hijacking motorcycle gang. The Keyfish. Mm. Recoil booster and a hover lift, eh? Thanks for the tip, Rick. Uh -huh. You're right, though. I'll need that ramp. Okay. What's this? Not on foot. <laughs> okay. So let's get back on the bike. Pipes Ben's got. Why does he need so many? switch between weapons because I know we can use the tire iron and the fertilizer okay what weapon does this guy have shouldn't hit a man wearing glasses you crowding me shovel face back off man yeah! Aggressive little war. Uh, maybe. Sweet. Yeah, victory. So it looks like, okay, so you can use the fertilizer on people that don't have glasses or goggles. See, this chainsaw would be perfect for this. What's wrong? Lead divers? Nice. Sweet. That should have a couple of good boosts left in it. <laughs> Alright, so we use the chain for that guy. I 
guess all the weapons are needed for something. You crowd me, shovel face. Chain is chain. Right. We've gotten victories, but we haven't gotten all the stuff that we need. We can just take this guy out. That's the spirit! Chainsaw is not going to work on the key fish guy because they still kamikaze and blow themselves up. So maybe we'll use. If we maintain the philosophy. You're going to die now. Eat this. I can let you go. This time you're going to. Now I'm mad. Uh, maybe we'll use the 2 by 4 on the key fish. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> That's awesome. Haha. -ha. Here we go. Right, let's use. Oh, sweet! Alright. What do we do? I guess we're just gonna wait for the entrance to the... to the cave. The cavefish cave. Everything about these guys is creepy. Don't think I'm getting in there. Let's 
see if we can just run out of here without it, without doing anything else. So we can't just ride out with it. It's probably got something to do with that turn. Because how can we stop here? There's got to be something to do here. Oh, you know what? You remember the ramp flicked off one of those dots on the ground? Those bumps? Probably going to use that to... Take out the bumps on that turn. Let's push the ramp. Like that. I think we're going to um, conclude this episode, kind of a short one, but it was pretty eventful. We managed to get a chainsaw, a chain, um, an awesome looking mace weapon, 2x4, and we got those goggles and the ramp. So, pretty successful so far. I think we're just going to need to get, well we got the booster also for the bike, and now we just need to get the hover thing. I think I know what we're going to need to do, but we'll have to wait until the next episode for that. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and tune in next time.